What's good, Josh? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out how Triple H saved the Judgment Day, man. Um, I've said this before. Triple H has came in and pretty much given life to the Judgment Day. Beforehand, once they kicked out Edge, they they really weren't going anywhere. People weren't really as interested in them, and people really couldn't take them seriously. Now, in my humble opinion, I think they're the best heels so far in WWE. They are killing it right now. I actually am invested in their storyline. The fact that Dominic has joined them and has caused Rey Mysterio, the legend, to jump ship and go to Monday night uh, to Sm uh, Friday Night SmackDown is incredible. The stuff they got going on with Edge, you would think you would be kind of tired of it, but now they've created another level of intensity. I'm loving it, man. So we're gonna check this out by the great one. I've actually seen his videos before, it's just off camera. Uh, if you get few, you guys wanted me to check it out. So I'm gonna check it out for you guys. Appreciate all the love and support. And let's get right into this one, man. I'm looking forward to seeing what the great one has to say about the judgment day. Cause I'm be honest with you, they're killing it right now. The Judgment Day is what happens when a bunch of wrestlers watch The Undertaker as kids. He poisoned the minds of young people. Damien Priest did it for the spotlight, Finn Balor did it for redemption, Rhea Ripley had a king, and Dominic thought that's far more interesting than being a good son. Papi? <laughs> Wild Rhea. What I'm trying to say is they're a bunch of cool, edgy kids. They're basically what Marks think they are when they use Twitter. Well, I'm actually cool. Sure you are, Mark. The Judgment Day is a pretty damn good faction, but that wasn't always the case. Facts. It started with AJ versus Edge. Edge turned heel, and at WrestleMania, Damien Priest helped Edge to defeat AJ Styles. Following WrestleMania, Edge revealed Priest as his partner, and the team's name was revealed as the Judgment Day. What they basically did is judge you, Mark. I didn't do anything wrong, I'm speaking <laughs> facts! A-E-Dub! <laughs> it sounds great, but it was really hard to take them seriously. Every week they cut the same promo about how they hate fans. It sounded forced, it sounded repetitive, and it was really hard to take that seriously because at this point in his career, we can't hate Edge. Like, it's literally impossible. We know and that's understandable. He makes a very great point. In Edge's career, as we speak right now, it's hard to hate him. Yes, you know, they, they forced the heel turn on us. And I was hoping, you know, we could really see, like, the people that joined the group really benefit from it. Obviously, that didn't happen once they kicked him out. But Edge in his career, he's one of those individuals where it's like, it's hard to hate him. You can because we have in the past, but it's very difficult to buy into it, if that makes any sense. We know that Edge's time in wrestling is ticking, so we just want to appreciate every single second of Edge being in professional wrestling. Obviously. WWE didn't know what to do with the faction. We heard rumors that Vince McMahon wanted them to have superpowers, uh -huh. and we kinda saw that, but thankfully it didn't go too far. Thankfully we didn't get Edge on Raw being like, letting bolts shoot from my fingertips! At WrestleMania Backlash, Rhea Ripley joined the faction, and the Judgment Day did gain some momentum, uh -huh. but we faced the same problems. To me, just kind of felt pointless and they never really looked legit. At Hell in a Cell, the Judgment Day defeated Styles, Finn Balor, and Liv Morgan in a six-person mixed tag team match. Mm -hmm. The next night on Raw, Edge introduced Finn Balor as the newest member of the Judgment Day. It seemed like Finn Balor finally saw the light. He's going to be Edge's lackey. Well... Not mm. really. Balor, no. Priest, and Rhea suddenly attacked Edge, and Edge got kicked out of the Judgment Day. That's when we assume that Finn Balor is the new leader. Which might not even be true. It seems like Rhea Ripley is possibly the leader of the Judgment Day. Maybe they don't even have a leader. Maybe they don't need a leader. Maybe it's Karrion Cross with his goddamn strap on. <laughs> I like Finn Balor being the new leader because it gave Finn Balor something to do after so many years of just being there on the main. And I agree with what he's saying here. Finn Balor being a leader or kind of stepping into that leadership role i appreciated it because you know finn balor had kind of just been falling by the wayside so it was cool to see him take over that role i was you know i was like okay at least they're giving him something to do oops i was not trying to do that 
main roster. However, taking Edge out and replacing him with Finn Balor, well, it took some legitimacy away from the faction. Edge yeah. is an absolute legend, so yeah. just standing near Edge makes you look a lot more legit. Then we saw the Judgment Day versus Mysterios and Edge, and that's when it got interesting. Judgment Day wanted Dominic in their faction, but we didn't really believe that Dominic is going to join the Judgment Day. It mm -hmm. makes no sense. It just didn't seem realistic, but then everything changed. Triple H took over WWE. And I was one of those people that was like, ah, it just don't make sense to join him. They've been beating the crap out of him for fucking months or weeks. Why would he join them? But Triple H proved me wrong. We. All of a sudden, Judgment Day's promos got better. They looked like a bigger threat, though they lost way too many matches in my opinion. The biggest mm -hmm. change was the storytelling. Instead of a bunch of repetitive shit, Triple H said, uh, Go all in with the strap on Rhea. <laughs> Told the great story of Dominic Mysterio feeling disrespected by his father when he chose Edge as his partner at Clash of the Castle instead of his own son. Obviously, Rey Mysterio has a great point. Edge has a lot of experience and they needed the W. We can't play around. Dumb. <laughs> play with your PSP, dumb. Clash of the Castle, <laughs> Edge and Rey would defeat Balor and Priest in a tag team match. After the match, Dominic turned heel by kicking Edge in the balls. And he already got massive heat. Mm -hmm. Like, that was already wild. But then the unthinkable happened. He turned on his own father, and we heard one of the loudest boo reactions ever. <sighs> I want you to think about it. It's his father. It's his... Papi. After all the milk I gave to you, after every goddamn <laughs> diaper I've changed, after I bought you the goddamn PSP? Just heartbreaking stuff. It seemed like it's never going to happen. It doesn't make sense. Like, I thought Rey Mysterio is going to retire and they would never face each other. Then we saw Dominic transforming into a man. He finally lost his virgin. We got different Dominic. <laughs> and we still try... <laughs> Rhea Ripley has synced her uh, toxic claws into Dominic, and he is a lost cause for now. Um, but nah, this was a much needed turn. I have actually, I've been more invested in Dominic now since he's been in WWE. So what they're doing with him, I am all for. It is entertaining. He's been more entertaining as a piece of garbage heel than he was as a baby face because no one really cared. They just cared about Ray and Dominic was the tag along, so. Tried to put some sense into Dominic, but he refused to listen. It seemed like Dominic still had some regrets, but every week he turned into a bigger monster. I yeah. personally love this, but I gotta be honest, he still lacks so much. His promo delivery was bad. His matches aren't the best. You can see that he still has so much to learn, mm -hmm. but I feel like every week he's getting better. He really knows how to make people hate him, and the facial expressions he's doing when he's getting booed are priceless. Yep. Rey Mysterio was put into a very unfortunate situation because Edge wants to fight Dominic, but Rey Mysterio is trying to avoid that from happening. Eventually, we got Edge versus Dominic, and Rey effed it up again, of and course. that's how Edge got injured. On September 26th episode of Raw, Edge made his return and challenged Balor to an I Quit match. Edge even cut a great promo where he talked about how he's getting older and has doubts. I wake up to pee five times a night. I have a great bush now. So we got the <laughs> I Quit match. We saw a bunch of interferences from the Judgment Day. And this was the first time Dominic Mysterio attacked his father. He got physical and Michael Cole lost his mind. Yep. It went something like this. That's your damn father! <laughs> How dare you! Somebody stop the damn match! That Bro, Michael Cole sold that damn match like a million bucks. We gotta give praise to Michael Cole being able to actually call matches like a real human being since Triple H has taken over. He has been fantastic, and I love the way he called this match, especially when Dominic went ultra rogue on his father. It was beautiful. It wasn't it. Edge said I quit to save his wife, but they did it anyway, oh, these my. weird bastards. Now they've gone too far. Dominic has gone too far. There's no way Rey Mysterio can forgive him now. It's beyond apologies. Also, Beth Phoenix getting attacked made it beyond personal. Here's yeah. how WWE fixed the Judgment Day. Now, they're destroying everything around them. They're actually ruining lives. 
That's how much power the Judgment Day has now. They're not just spooky little characters who yes. attack someone from behind. It's not about wrestling anymore. It's about personal lives. It's such a long, great story that evolved in unpredictable ways. That's great storytelling if you ask me. Yes, Vince McMahon ruining the Judgment Day seemed bad, but at the end of the day, it was kind of beneficial. We saw a very slow progression and finally they're getting what they want. We saw the Mysterios in similar rivalries before, but that was Vince McMahon. And mm -hmm. that's the main difference between the Judgment Day versus Mysterios and Mysterios versus uh, Rollins faction. This was goofy. No matter yeah. what happened, nothing really changed. Even when Buddy Murphy turned face, that was very short-lived. All of it disappeared and he even got fired. So it's like yeah. we watched this year-long rivalry for no reason. The Mysterios versus the Judgment Day did more for me in like three weeks than the entire Seth Rollins versus Rey Mysterio rivalry. Facts. Now they're the best part of Monday Night Raw Facts. and time will tell what's gonna happen in the future. But it's looking really bright because WWE have big plans for Finn Balor and all of these mm. members are actually Triple H's people. This whole Rey Mysterio versus Seth Rollins rivalry kind of made me feel weird. I cringed so many times, mm -hmm. and in a way, this should make me feel the same way. But it just feels a lot more realistic, the delivery is so much better, and it goes to show you how great all of these talent are. Facts, Dominic is facts. not the best, but him being surrounded by people like Finn Balor, Damien Priest, Rhea Ripley, Rey Mysterio, and even Edge, who by the way is just unbelievable and I'm gonna make a separate video on this. Dominic Mysterio is growing as a wrestler by yes, being surrounded by these people and also with Triple H's vision. But let me know in the comments below how do you feel about the Judgment Day. I feel like they're such a great faction right now that actually are making a difference in the WWE. Thank you for watching. Leave a like because you always forget to. Also after 8 months- Hey man, this, this, was, this was a great video. Shout out to uh, um the great one i'll say this man what triple h has done for judgment day has been incredible like the great one has said he has made them arguably one of the most important parts of monday night raw and i love it i love it i love what they got going on with now potentially uh aj styles bringing back the oc the oc they're coming back into the mix i'm loving to see what happens with that you know edge is not done with them we may see something at survivor series maybe them in the war games match with the oc i don't know i'm just looking forward to it and triple h has turned these guys into joke from he turned them from jokes to actual serious threats that have no problems sending people to the upper room doesn't matter who it is and i love it i love it man judgment day has be become arguably my favorite thing on monday night raw and i'm loving where the storyline is going and i'm interested to see where they take things in the future so comment down below let me know how do you guys feel about the Judgment Day? Are you guys enjoying the, the, the direction that they're heading? Or do you think they could be going in another direction? Let me know down below. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 100K. I appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.